Thank you, Jason. We're learning more about an early morning house fire in Portsmouth. It happened in the Port Norfolk area of the city. We first told you about this on Wavy News 10 today. Thankfully, no one was hurt. 10 on your side, Maria Elena Baloris is in the newsroom now with what we know so far. Maria Elena, this happened in a vacant home, right? Yeah, I spoke with multiple neighbors. They all told me that nobody has lived in that home for years. They are grateful that the fire didn't spread to any of their homes. And for one family, it was pretty much a close call. Bright orange flames illuminated Florida Avenue in the Port Norfolk section of Portsmouth. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. An early morning fire reducing a two story home to rubble. I was like, sort of shocked because, I mean, it was right close to her. It could have just spread it. Fire crews were called to the street just before 2 45 this morning. My wife woke me up. I came in the um, back and seen that it was on fire. Fire departments back there. When firefighters arrived, they found a home fully engulfed in flames. It collapsed just a few moments later. But it was popping and crackling, and the roof, once the roof fell, that's when they started to put it out. Firefighters had the blaze under control in about 20 minutes. I got woke up at 2 30 with my mama knocking on my door, saying the house behind our house was on fire. That's when I went out the side door, and you could feel the heat from the fire. Timothy Sykes says he was worried the fire would spread. I was hoping that the cars in the back or our house weren't on fire because it was so close to the back of our house. It just did a little bit of damage to the, the back side and then burnt the tail lights on the two cars in the back. He and other neighbors are thankful it wasn't worse. Luckily, the, the fire departments got here in time. Nobody got hurt because somebody definitely could have got hurt. A pile of rubble and gratitude left behind. The Portsmouth Fire Marshal's office is currently investigating the cause. Of course, we'll keep you updated. In the newsroom, I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.